everybody. Bobby Fye here for my five and five minutes. I'll be live today at 6.15 Eastern time on TrueDFS.com. I'm sorry, TrueDFS.com. Yeah, you can find us there. And you can also find us, uh, in our, it'll be live in our Discord channel. It'll be live on our YouTube channel and all that stuff. So that'll be our live show today at, at 6.15 Eastern because of the later start for the games. And uh, yeah, with that, I want to get into my top five plays, but I do want to mention, please like the video. Please uh, check out TrueDFS.com. We've really added some things with, with, with our partnership with SaberSim. It's really wonderful. I hope you guys check it out. It's, um, it's an incredible uh, projection system, I would argue, to say between sheets and, and that projections, you get the best projections in the industry. I also list my core plays there every day as does Rody and Sheets. And uh, I would suggest you guys check it out because the packages are basically the same or very close to the same price you, you would get if you were going directly to SaberSim and uh, you're getting all of our content as well. So I think that's a, a really, really nice package. Anyway, let's get into today's slate. I'm going to go through it really quick. Um, it's, it's an interesting slate. We're already hearing more and more news. So take this with a grain of salt because more stuff might happen as the day goes on. But this is what I've got for right now. Um, it's only a five gamer, but there are some some different ways to go. Like, I think Holiday is a tremendous play. Um, obviously, he's going to be incredibly chalky, but without Giannis and Middleton, it's hard to ignore him. I do like Portis. I should have had him as a priority on FanDuel. So just ignore the fact that Portis is not a priority right now. In fact, just to make it easier for you, I will say Portis right here as well. I know it's a different position, and I usually like the players in the same tier like that. But Bobby Portis on FanDuel at 5K is a joke, and it means no one's going to play him on DraftKings, so I will like him as a tournament play over there. But uh, we have to see how the lineup shakes out before we know who else to play, like the Nuoras, like the Grayson Allens. I mean, he'll be starting, but like I want to know who else is starting before I totally commit to this one. We do have Brooke Lopez also. So you do want to keep an eye on that game in general because you have value on the other side. Uh, Levine and Vooch with no, uh, with no DeRozan is a pretty automatic. The problem is like on Fandle, you can only play one center. So you've got Jokic, who's an incredible play. And then you've got Vooch. I actually do prefer Vooch on Fandle to Levine. Uh, but except for the Jokic factor and on DraftKings, I prefer Levine over Vooch, but again, it's partially because of the Jokic factor, but Levine's price is a little higher over there, but I like both of them uh, for what it's worth. Other guys we, we want to be looking at, I have this whole slate of, uh, of value and there's going to be more that that's not even included in here, but this is the way I've got it ranked right now. Um, Abdiya Rui, I mean, all these guys. So, so this, this is my current ranking of how I have the value rated. It's, it could change with starting lineups, all that. We don't know Batate. It depends on whether or not we don't know if, Jay, uh, if Jalen Smith is going to play. There's just a lot of stuff to wait on. But the, this is the order of which I have my value of these guys on each site. I do really like uh, Barton. Maybe I could argue that Barton should be ahead of Rui. I think that's probably a good idea, actually. Um, you're probably using him in the small forward spot because of some of the good guard value. And you could include... Uh, Caruso into some of the mixes, but I prefer Rui and Barton than I do Caruso Gordon, but I will mix in those other guys as well. Jokic is pretty much the smash play of the night. It's going to be really hard to avoid him at chalk even. It's just so easy to get him in um, with all this other stuff. The only issue is like, maybe you want to do something different and that's going to lead me into my next tier. It's all these other guys. You can play these guys together with the obvious holiday play or two of these guys with the obvious holiday play, maybe even three um, or Vooch um, or Levine with, two of these guys in holiday, or even if you want to skip holiday, this would be the way to do it, I think, and then load up on some of the value from, uh, from, uh, excuse me, Milwaukee. And on FanDuel, I just have it a little bit different in terms of rankings because McCollum is only 8K over there. Porzingis is a better player in general on FanDuel because you could be upside of steals and blocks. And then I go Booker and Garland, whose prices don't really change, whereas you're getting a little bit better value for the other guys. So this is what I've got for right now. I hope you guys really enjoy these videos. Please again, like, and uh, check out our Discord if you need anything. I'm always around. And uh, yeah, it's been a great couple months for True DFS as a team, as uh, everybody's been doing, you know, for the most part, people have been doing really, really well. Uh, our team has definitely, the, the, the pro team has done really, really well. But we want you guys to be a part of it. We want uh, to get more people involved. And uh, we love the, the activity in the Discord. So make sure to, to, to get on in there and uh, fire out your thoughts for the day, ask some questions, and uh, let's make it some fun. So good luck to everybody. And uh, let's make some money today. Good luck, y'all.